welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about couplings so generally couplings that will be used to connect two different shafts that will be into align misalign or at the right angles so let us start with the one new topics and that will be the couplings so some introduction about the couplings so couplings and clutch are power transmission element so that will be used to transmit the power from driver shaft to the driven shaft for different kind of applications so it is used for transmitting the power from one shaft to the another shaft so couplings the power is transmitted from the one end to the other commonly by means of the shafts so generally if the distance between the two end is large or say 8 meters to 10 meters it would be would be inconvenient so it is necessary to join two or more piece of the shaft using the couplings so some of the advantages of the couplings as under to alter the vibration characteristics of rotating shafts to connect driving and driven parts to introduce protection against the overload conditions for the different automobile and different machinery conditions to provide for misalignment of the shafts to introduce mechanical flexibility into the process to reduce the transmission of the shock loads from one shaft to the another shaft to sleep when overloads occurs so different types of coupling is being used as per my applications so generally couplings that will be dividing into two categories rigid couplings and flexible couplings so let us start with the rigid couplings so that will be the first sleeve or you can say muff coupling clamp or split muff coupling and third flange coupling so in the category of the flange coupling that will be having a two more types and that will be unprotected type and protected type now second case flexible couplings so boost pin type flange coupling so generally that will be for imperfect alignment of the two joining shaft second universal coupling so used to join two intersecting shafts ulham's coupling so two parallel shaft with the small offset so by the couplings that will be mainly two parts rigid couplings and flexible couplings so let us start with the rigid couplings and first sleeve or muff coupling so in sleeve or muff coupling the end of the two shafts to be coupled but against each other and cast iron muff or sleeve envolve them and a jib neck suck key is used or you can say in simple way one key is provided to hold the sleeve and the shaft together thus the forming of the rigid couplings so let us see on to the figure so here shaft a and shaft b and that will be coupled with the help of sleeves that will be around the periphery of the both the shaft and with the application of the key that will be providing the rigid joint between two shafts so just you can see over here that will be the three dimensional view of the muff coupling or sleeve muff couplings and from the two dimensional view two different shaft a and b that will be connected with the help of key and muff so that will be providing the rigid coupling for the aligned shaft for driver and driven shaft so just you can see such kind of coupling is being used and that will be called as a muff coupling sleeve split coupling second one so here that will be total sleeve that will be into the two parts 
so muff that will be having a two parts and that will be connected by the fasteners as you can see from here sharp number a and sharp number b samely as we discussed into the previous muff coupling so with the application of feathers key that will be connecting the two different sharp a and b and with the application of nut and bolt assembly that will be providing a good rigid connection between two different shafts so just you can see over here so one driven shaft driving shaft and with the application of two different part or you can say split muffs is being used to connecting a aligned shaft for transmitting the power from driver pulley to driven pulley or you can say driver shaft to the driven shaft so generally coupling is used for two different shaft materials so in the case of the split muff coupling the split muff couplings muff is splitted up in the two semi cylindrical halves as we discuss which are held together by means of the square headed bolts and nuts thus the coupling is done by the feathers key the advantage of this coupling is that it can be placed directly anywhere onto the shaft flange coupling so it consists of the two similar cast iron flanges to which the shaft are keyed with the help of taper keys the machine flanges are then tightly held together by exit fitting bolts into the holes so just you can see the figure of the flange coupling and that will be the category of the unprotected so here it will be the sharp number a and sharp number b and two different keys is being used as from the front view of this diagram so key number 1 over here key number 2 and that will be having a two different hubs or you can say flange is being used for connecting a two different shaft and that will be connection is provided with the help of nut bolt assembly so bolt and nut that will be the outer side so that will be make a unprotected type of coupling of the two different shafts so just you can see unprotected type of flange coupling so that particular nut and bolt assembly it will be directly you can see onto the coupling area and for the protected type that will be inner side of the flange so that will be not making any trouble during the operations or it will be not making any kind of accidents during the connection of the two different shafts so that will be the protected type just you can see from the figures shaft number a and shaft number b that will be connected by the application of two different keys and flange number 1 and flange number 2 that will be connected with the help of nut and bolt assembly just the difference from the unprotected to protected so in the case of protected shroud is providing at the flange so that bolts and nut that will be the inner part so there will be one kind of protection is providing into the machines so considering as a protected type of flange coupling so here each flange is provided with the annular projection of the covering bolts heads and nuts this prevents bolts and nuts from the catching the clothes of the workman and thus ensure their safety so protected type that will be increasing the safety boost pin type of flexible coupling so that will be now category of the flexible coupling and first one boost pin type of flexible coupling so flexible couplings are used where slight relative movement is required or you can say or axis of the shafts run slightly out of the line so that will be the miss align of the two shafts pin type coupling is the most commonly used flexible couplings here the motion from one half of the coupling to the other half is imparted with the help of driving pins rigidly bolted to the one flange and loosely fitted in corresponding holes into the others brass boost or rubber covering is provided on the driving pins for absorbing shocks and the and insulators it does not transmit the shocks from one shaft to the another shaft so just you can see once again 
driving shaft and driven shaft and that will be connected with the help of boost pin type of coupling so similarly flange number one and flange number two is being used with the application of key so here rubber boost is providing in the one of the flange or you can say flange number two and with the application of pin and nut that will be coupling of the flange number one and two so that will be providing a flexible joint of two different driving shaft and driven shaft so this rubber boost that will be providing the absorption of the shock and that will be in the case of misaligned of the shafts so just you can see the figure of boost and pin type of flange coupling so here just you can see the number of rubber boost or brass material boost is being used to providing a flexible couplings so that will be reducing the vibrations for the from the power transmission from the driver shaft to the driven shaft and application of the key is the essential part to connection of the shaft number a and shaft number b Ulham's coupling so this coupling is used for connecting the shaft whose axis are parallel but not into inline so intersecting shafts the end of the two shafts are keyed to their respectively cast iron flanges the flanges have grooves cut across their inner faces a cylindrical piece having a two projections generally known as a tongues situated at right angles to each other in inserted in between the flanges let us the tongue slide in the recess across it so just you can see the figure flange number a and flange number b so you can see from the figure flange number a that will be having a female member and in between that will be the floating disc e and floating disc having a tongue number one and tongue number two and both the tongue number one and tongue number two it will be at the right angles so in the flange number a that will be connected with the tongue number one and flange b that will be connected with the flange tongue number two so that flange a connected with a driving shaft and flange b that will be connected with the driven shaft they are shown from the figure driven shaft and driving shaft that will be the parallel shafts but that will be having a little or can say small offset so you can connecting of driving shaft and driven shaft with the help of flange a and flange b and in between that will be a floating disc e and floating disc e it will be consist of the two tongues and that will be having a right angles so the applications of such kind of couplings that will be the transmission of the power and that will be parallel shafts for small offsets just you can see the figure universal couplings a yeah, universal coupling is used to connect the two shafts whose axis intersects so right angles transmission of the power in this coupling two similar forks are provided to each end of the shaft the coupling consists of a central block having a two arms at right angles to the one another the forks are pin jointed to these central blocks it is used to connect a proper shaft with the gear box shaft and the differential of the automobiles so just you can see the figure shaft number a and shaft number b that will be connected here with the application of pin and collar two numbers so fork number one that will be connected with the shaft a and with the application of pin one and pin two and with the having a central blocks so connection of with the fork two so here shaft a is connected with a shaft b with the application of two pins one central block and fork one so that kind of application is used for intersecting power transmission systems 
So just you can see the figure from intersecting sub transmission of the power. So thank you very much. If you like it, then subscribe, like, and share. Mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.